Good morning and welcome everyone to the largest hacker conference in the free world. <laughs> My goodness, look at all of you here. My name is Geraldine. Um, I first started attending this Congress all the way back in 1999. And I remember so well walking into the dark, smoky, central hack space and getting into all these random and really, really exciting conversations. And I also remember feeling so much more welcome than I ever thought would be possible. But I never thought I would be standing here today opening the show, and this is such a huge honor. Thank you very much. Yeah. <clears throat> My name is Erdgeist and I first attended Congress in 1998, which is one year prior to Geraldine. What a noob. <laughs> but um, I now officially attended more Congresses than I didn't, which means that now I am old. And <laughs> knowing all the love and enthusiasm that went into preparing this conference, I'm so incredibly proud to see how everything worked out, how you got together, uh, how this conference just uh, blows everyone away, how you showed up and made this work without anyone telling you what to do, which is amazing. So I know what you're all thinking, we're gonna spend the next half an hour selling you a show that you've already bought tickets for, and this is kind of true. However, we feel that we have hopefully something interesting to share with all of you here. But this also goes out to all the people who can't be physically with us today for various reasons, watching from their telescreens at home. So whether you are watching by yourself in front of your device, or you're hosting a Congress Everywhere event and watching together with like-minded people, and whether you're in Dar es Salaam, Tel Aviv or Chemnitz, welcome to the show. <clears throat> now, last year when Tim did this opening, the gravity of the situation that we're all facing in the post Snowden era was of course apparent to everybody here in the room. But what is really important is that we managed to transport our message out of these walls to the general public and people finally started listening to what people in this room had to say. We know the services in the world are still out of control, and sometimes it's a little frustrating that things are not moving faster, but we need to keep pushing towards a common goal. We need to keep our doors open to those that we want to reach with our message. Um, last year, we were partying, even though we figured out that people, smart people from our ranks, we're working for the bad guys. Last year, we were partying, even though the complexity of what was happening was so deafening, and we couldn't even find a Congress motto to express what we were feeling. But when we learned that the Google engineers started raising their middle fingers towards the NSA and started encrypting their server network communications, we understood that this is not the end, but a new dawn. And when we learned that WhatsApp, of all clients, started introducing end-to-end -end encryption, making it even more secure to use than DE mail, we learned that developers... <laughs> <laughs> developers around the world weren't standing back in shock, but rolled up their sleeves and got to work a new dawn. And when we learned that you guys finally got over your differences and started the Let's Encrypt the project, um, we understood that the community is not just standing by and seeing our community and the internet being spit on by NSA and, NH uh, and, uh, <laughs> and the British Secret Service. <laughs> <laughs> but you were working on it and came together and uh, started fixing what we've been left uh, with by the snake oil third vendors of the world and the secret services. And, uh, you made it work, and uh, I think it's a new dawn. And I'm very confident to say that um, this community obviously rolled their sleeves up um, and made for once and for all clear that it's not the shady spy agencies with their ridiculous budgets ruling the internet, but we are. And it's a new dawn. So now we would like to know Whose first Congress is this? If you're here for the first time, can you give me a sign of hands? Wow, so many people. <gasps> Amazing. That's why you're all here so early. Now Everyone I take a good look at them. 
because it's because of them that we need to explain everything from square one. <laughs> But we would like to say thank you for that, for two reasons. A, we'd like to say thank you because it's so important that we know how to explain everything from square one. And B, it's because of you guys that our community keeps growing every year. And the community keeps growing because there's all those tiny gems, like the Chaos Partner Project, which is our interpretation of how a mentors program is supposed to work. So this is how it works. This year, there are about 30 Chaos Partners taking care of 100 new attendees called Partnerkinder. They could apply for this, and it wasn't just a random selection, but the Chaos Partners actually sat down and made sure they matched their interests with the ones of the people that they would be mentoring. And they're basically going to help show them around for the next four days, show them all the hidden secrets of the Congress, help them put together an advanced bucket list, and make sure they get the most out of this first Congress experience. And one of those Chaos Kinder is Elia, and he wrote to the Chaos Partner and mailing list, said that uh, over the last years, he's been fascinated in te technology and uh, hacking, but he could never afford coming to the Congress. And now, for his 18th birthday, his parents gave him a ticket to this show and a ticket to Hamburg. So welcome, Elia. We'd also like to welcome Alex. Alex is a really good example why this program is so important. She's studying maths and she's studying cognitive sciences and is currently working on her PhD. And she was yet never really sure whether she was supposed to come to Congress, whether this was the right place for her, because she didn't feel like a real hacker. So we'd like to say welcome, Alex. You're perfect here. We would like to welcome one other Carl's Partnerkind who'd like to stay anonymous, but she confessed to us that she used to have to spend the holidays eating so much unhealthy food and celebrating with her family and fixing computers. And we just want to say we know what that's like. We feel with you. Welcome. <laughs> We hope all of you have a great time. There's a lot in store, including a field day, a field trip, and even going backstage and getting to visit Tim. <laughs> yes, they have an audience with the Tim, and they're going to see Nock, and they're going backstage to the party. I'm so incredibly jealous, so I, <clears throat> I think next year I will apply for the Chaos Partner and Project 2, and <laughs> just, um, just for the trip. <laughs> and what Chaos Partner is for our new participants, uh, the Press Angels Core is, um, well, for the press. So if you come to the entrance and say you're a member of the press, you get your complimentary press angel who will show you around, help you get a feel for the conference, um, show you all the nice spots and make you familiar with the photo policy of this uh, conference. <laughs> and <laughs> this... Uh, the service is, of course, uh, not mandatory because, well, we are not in North Korea here. <laughs> Don't make jokes about North Korea. You never know what's going to happen these days if you do that. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. I thought that might happen. <laughs> Damn. So, we know that there's... Um, Two students from the University of Kiel here. Um, <laughs> who have uh, been getting their... I think I go over there, that is closer to my computer. <laughs> uh, so we have two uh, students from the University of Kiel here, whose prof uh, sponsored them a ticket for this show. And I think this is a nice development. I think that uh, all universities in Germany should make sure that their students get the best education possible. So... <laughs> <laughs> And you may believe it or not, like 16 years ago, I started out like uh, over a thousand of you last year and this year as a Chaos Angel. I've been sitting in my first Congress um, through the mandatory TCP IP for beginners lecture. And I would never have imagined that uh, like 16 years later, I would be standing in front of 3,000 people and cracking jokes about my TCP IP for beginners lecture and most of you would actually get it which is uh, rather amazing. 
And, um, well, I feel jealous for the Chaos Parton, um, or for the mentees. Um, even though I did not have the head start Chaos Parton and Project provides today, I still felt very welcome with uh, the Chaos Angels and, well, came back year after year. And now, about those Chaos Angels. <clears throat> They're the integral part of uh, what makes this conference work. And uh, you over there at the camera, what's your name? Mario. Uh, Mario is uh, a camera angel, and he's uh, helping at the conference while I'm standing here, getting all the good vibes, getting all the fame, and this is why I'm standing here. But this guy <laughs> has been paying full price, and he's still doing his shifts to make this conference work, and I want to, everyone to give him a warm round of applause. <clears throat> I would also say that uh, if you go outside and meet an angel, just go and say thank you, and, well, actually do mean it. And if you're being blocked from entering the lecture hall you want to attend, just remember that uh, the angel is uh, volunteering too. And don't be grumpy, don't be angry, just say thank you. Maybe turn around and watch the stream um, on, the, on the back of the hall. And I would even go so far to say, make today Hugs and Angels Day. Consensually, of course. <laughs> Um, so it's all the Chaos Partners and all the Chaos Angels that we'd like to say thank you to. But we'd also like to give a shout out to all the hundreds of volunteers that have made this event possible. It's all the people that have set up the, yeah, the OC is bringing the internet, the DECT and GSM phone networks. It's all the people who have put the schedule together for you behind the cash desks at the entry points. And also all the people that are doing translation service. We're actually going to translate all the German talks into English for you and a whole bunch of the English talks into German too. And you can even make requests which talks should be translated via Twitter. So it's really all these people that are making this possible. Let's give them a big round of applause. So, I am assuming that with around 200 people giving over 150 lectures over the next four days, a couple of people presenting are in this room right now. Can you give me a sign of hand if you're going to be speaking on this or another stage in the next days? Yeah, there's some. Okay, everybody take a good look at these hands going up. In order for these people to be able to give their talks, at least two other submissions were turned down. And so you better do a really, really good job. Otherwise, you're going to have the wrath <laughs> of about 13,000 people turned upon you. No pressure, no pressure. No, really. <laughs> we would like to say thank you to all of you as well for coming here and sharing your knowledge. And we'd also like to say thank you for all of you who handed in suggestions whose ideas weren't selected this year. Seriously, the number of uh, rejected talks this year was heartbreaking. Um, you know that we organized the content in tracks, uh, five different tracks, each being curated by a different track team. And in some of the track teams, the ratio between accepted and rejected talks was close to one to five. So uh, if a lecture was not accepted, that doesn't necessarily mean it was bad, but the competition was so brutal. So, thank you for your submission, and uh, I know it's hard to, um, to ask to maybe just go and uh, make your lecture a lightning talk, there's uh, still some slots free, or present uh, the topic uh, you wanted to present um, in a workshop. Mm -hmm. And um, this year, in fixing up the Fahrplan, we had some help from you guys. Uh, we've um, had that amazing tool uh, where every one of you could just, um, well, submit their preferences and uh, say what lectures they want to see. And we use the data wisely to make sure that uh, for most of you, uh, you could see your favorite talk while not missing another talk you wanted to see. Well, except for that one guy. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were using heavy data mining and number crunching to make sure that uh, for that poor fellow's guy, uh, all the lectures he wanted to see, there was at least two conflicting lectures. So, <laughs> you know who you are. <laughs> 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 no, just kidding. We're still using the data from the tools, so if you 
keep um, submitting uh, the preferences for your lectures, uh, we will know which lectures we need to stream outside, and the translation team is also using that numbers to see what the interest in, in those lectures are. Okay, well, hopefully that was going to make all the rest of you enjoy the show. Sorry for that one person. But in case this isn't just hard enough with all this content going around, you've also thrown in over 100 workshops into the mix, all completely self-organized. There are going to be dozens of lightning talks, over 230 assemblies on anything from smart card hacking, 3D printing. There's even going to be a cocktail bot. Yes, and to my delightment, there's a coffee nerd area on the fourth floor. Yes. I will definitely be hanging around in. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Applause for coffee nerds. <clears throat> and I recommend to enjoy the crazy joyroid that has been set up for you outside in the hall. Um, there's so much exhibitions. There's uh, the second installment of the Seidenstraße, which is an uh, more amazing uh, construction. It's last rehearsal before the camp. And um, I recommend uh, taking a dip into the Bällebad. Don't forget to bring your towel. Uh, Yes. And <laughs> this is uh, all has been set up to fulfill the promise that has been at the core and in the name of the conference from the very beginning. It's uh, communication. So we dare you, go out, go out here and talk to some random stranger about her project. Go and attend a lecture whose title and abstract you do not understand. Go and tinker with somebody's installation. Try not to break it, if possible. <laughs> and just go out and have fun and meet people. Whatever you do, don't go sit in a corner and wait for something to happen. If you really don't have anything better to do, why don't you use this very network to retrieve some classified information you have access to? Using an insecure connection, of course. And uh, incidentally, there's um, an ethics hotline on this uh, conference. Again, you might... Uh, call to, well, get some, get some feeling if it's um, all right what you're doing. And I think it's uh, fair to say that uh, oh, I'm proud of this community because we've built ourselves what we think libraries should look like. We do have that hot, shiny new media CCCDE where the lectures of this conference are being streamed and where, on average, one lecture is being posted every three days from conferences like this one for everyone to download and learn and watch. I think it's fair to say that with uh, this conference, we've built what uh, we think universities should look like. Teaching and learning as equals and taking the presenter of the show uh, afterwards to an hands-on workshop. Well, enjoy a chunk at the Bellebart together and uh, no matter what the social our religious or sexual background is, uh, we're communicating as equals, which is what makes this community cool. Yes, and the strength of this community... <laughs> the strength of this community is also uh, apparent in the way that you support each other, even if it's just by little things. Now, there's a lot of support from the CCH, but this is still very, very pricey. So basically, we can use every penny that you're willing to give us to organize this event. And we'd like to point out how fantastic it is that over 25% of all of you chose to buy supporter tickets and not just regular tickets. Now, we know that 25% is far above the ratio of people attending the Congress who are actually super rich and wealthy. So that means that you guys went out of your way to spend a little extra and support other people who are not so wealthy in this community, and we'd like to say thank you very much for that. At this conference, is uh, recurring, yet unfortunately only temporary installation. So we ask you to take the spirit of the Congress back to your local hackerspace and, uh, well, establish or re-establish weekly lectures to, well, make yourself mini-congresses, because those hacker spaces are the petri dishes for what's going on here on the conference. They provide the open space to, to teach, to learn, and to communicate. Yes, so over the last years, over the last decades even, we have all broadened our cultural contexts. And we believe that now we have a serious chance to pass on all that we've created and all that we've learned for ourselves to new generations. All that we've just spoken about 
exploring how learning can be fun, creating blueprints for how to exchange with one another. Um, we've created a lot, but all this, all this greatness also comes at a price. Well, we've all had our history of uh, being bullied, of uh, being bullied for wanting, wanting to learn, for not being mainstream and for having interests that were not so prominent at the time. But I think we meddled through and we made it so far. And I'm really proud of the community, what they've achieved and not uh, what they were in the beginning. We have to acknowledge that we're not the underdogs that we used to be anymore. 15 years ago, you were special if you knew how to use a computer. Nowadays, you're special if you don't. And those people need our help. It's us, we, we are becoming mainstream. And whilst it is happening, we believe it's really important that we lead by example and do not become the bullies ourselves, but embrace new and old generations to pass on what we've learned. And to be honest, <clears throat> concerning the cryptographic uh, applications out there, we hackers just had a head start, that's all. The current sorry state of cryptography um, we have been left in by, um, by a design that was broken um, by negligence or yeah, by design. Um, we've given the chance would never build uh, the cryptography the way it is uh, right now. So I think we can't blame others not to get it. Seriously, we, we hackers should uh, stop being so smug about that. And I, for my part, apologize for the annoying CA cert. Um, situation. Uh, it's been a cool project over the years using that cert, but uh, right now it's preventing more communication than it's securing. So I'm, <clears throat> I'm looking forward to the summer of uh, 2015 because the Let's Encrypt it project will make uh, deploying certs and encrypting much easier. And in the summer of 2015, there will also be a new camp. Yay! <laughs> The camp is going to be an amazing playground. There's going to be a lake, there's going to be forests, there's an old factory that used to burn the limestones that Berlin was built up with. So we hope you're all going to come and join us there. Bring a tent. And because this is going to be in the far out dark skirts of Brandenburg that even folk songs warn you about, bring some food too. <laughs> uh, I recommend everyone to connect. Connect outside with the Seidenstraße. Uh, it will be huge on the campsite in a much larger scale. So take a good look at how you con can connect to the Seidenstraße installment. I would recommend connecting to one of those uh, assemblies out there because the assemblies were modeled after the villages on the last camp and will of course be the seeds for the new village. So uh, go connect and try to see if you can uh, go with some of the villages uh, to the camp next year. Yes, and of course, it's like we said, going to be one, one big party as well. There's going to be a lot of great work being done, but there's going to be a lot of celebration being done too. Because as is true with any revolution, it is true for our digital one as well. If, uh, if I can't dance to it, it's not mine. So we have embraced the electronic music scene a long time ago, and of course, it's an integral part of the camp and Congress today. Spaß am Gerät. So I think now, now we're about ready to open the show properly with our first keynote speaker. Um, I hope you're all familiar with him, if it's like for instance from the 33 C's triumphal hymn. <clears throat> it's uh, our most prominent uh, audio angel, I think. Uh, incidentally, uh, Geraldine and I met him for the first time on uh, May 1st of 1999. Around the same time, we were uh, starting to hang around uh, close to CCC, and uh, there he was playing on that uh, infamous uh, scheduled riots in Berlin. Um, so yeah, so now we'd like to ask you all to give a really, really big warm welcome to, to Alec Empire. Empire. 